Hey there, Toons! Gleam here with another Toontown video. I felt the need to revisit the topic of Toontown partner programs as a whole since another one of the major Toontown servers started a beta test of their um, potential partner program. There is a phrase that keeps circling around when it comes to Toontown partnership, and that is family friendly. What does it mean to be family friendly? In the post kappa age, being family friendly on YouTube is creating general audience content, which is not intended for kids, or else it would be put on YouTube kids, which is appropriate for anyone watching. If we unpack that, it places a restriction on the type of content shown, which can include explicit language, violence, politics, and anything that can be considered adult content or not safe for work. Now, what does being family friendly have to do with Toontown's private servers? I do not know exactly, but we can speculate. Toontown Online was born in 2003, the pre-MMO era, by Disney to be a child-centric, dare I say, family friendly MMO. That game closed. Post 2013, we see a bunch of, of private servers based off of Toontown Online pop up. Although many popular Toontown YouTubers gave attention to these private servers, only recently in the Toontown community do we see content creator partnership rise. Before that, creators were either on staff or off of the staff. 2020 saw the rise of creator programs, most notably Toontown Rewritten's, who I've covered earlier on this channel. Now we see evidence of other creator programs in other Toontown private servers start to arise, such as the one from Corvette Clash, and one could also expect one from Tooniversal as well. Now to answer the question. Why does these private servers require family-friendly creators? Here's my opinion. The short answer, partnered creators are a reflection of the server's image. Therefore, anything that goes against it just would not be compatible. It would be incompatible. Here's the more developed answer. Each server aims to be a recreation of Disney's Toontown Online, which has with it the nostalgia of being the first kid MMO. Preserving this nostalgia in a multiplayer game amounts to creating the Toontown game and running the game and its community with a family context in mind, similar to the original game. When the Toontown Rewritten Partner Program first launched, many people took a look at the guidelines. Some parts of the guidelines lenient and others strict. Each creator had to evaluate whether or not they were a fit for the program, since they would be expected to represent the server on the web. And that includes making content for a general audience, void of explicit language and not safe for work content. Now there are also creators in the Toontown community that make content that cannot be considered general audience. Some can be considered PG-13, some swear, some like to discuss hot topics. None of these can be considered wrong. However, when considering to join the program as a creator, I can only consider whether I am a fit for the program and just apply. It is then up to the teams at the Toontown private servers to accept or reject the application. If I get in, I get in. If I do not, well, I will still make content based off of what I love. Speaking of which, I love taking the time to share my thoughts on this topic. So if you made it to the end, don't forget to leave a like. What do you think about this requirement? I would love to also review the corporate clash guidelines for a creator program when they actually release it. So be sure to subscribe so you do not miss any update in the Toontown community. It's been real. I'm Gleam, and I will see you all in the next video. Gleam on.